In this video, we're gonna show you how to create a database and connect to a database in MongoDB. Now, databases do not need to be created explicitly. Rather, they are created when you just insert data. So if you add a new document into a collection, it will create the database if there are no other existing collections inside of that database. Additionally, databases are created implicitly on first use. If you wanted to show all the different databases that exist, you can run the command show DBS, but you need to have specific permissions to do this. Or if you want to switch to a different database, you could say use the name of the database. And even if that database doesn't exist, it would switch to it. And then you could insert documents into collections, which would then create this database. You can also show the current database you're using using the DB command. So for example, if I wanted to switch to the lecture database, I could say use lecture. So what I want you to do is try these three exercises. So go ahead and list all the databases that exist, then switch to your own database using your net ID as the name of the database, and then confirm that you are actually using your own database. All right, here we are at the home page of the web server. So what we're gonna do is try to issue these commands. So the first one was to show all the databases that exist. So we'll just do show DBS, and we do not need to have a semicolon after every query like we did with relational databases. So we can then go ahead and execute the query or the selected queries. I'm just gonna use the shortcut key of control enter to execute this command. So we'll go ahead and run that. And notice that we do not have authorization to run this query because this is the demo student account. So you as well will not be able to run this query. So we'll switch over to my admin view and I'll run show DBS. And as you can see, we then can see all the databases that exist inside of this environment. Let's switch back to student view. The next question asks us to switch to our personal schema. So we're gonna use the name of our schema, which would be our net ID. So in this case, I'm gonna say use demo student. We'll go ahead and run this query. It says that we successfully switched over to the demo student database. And then if I hit DB, this would show me which database that I'm currently in, which is the demo student database.